Hi there, this is Athel, and this is a Three Monkeys Monday video where I talk about basically an, an update of what I'm up to, what I'm thinking about, and what my plans are for the coming week. The Three Monkeys being my three plan task goals that I'm going to try and get done this week, or just the three things I'm going to try and focus on. And of course, the first thought is the Three Monkeys Monday thing is meant to be a weekly series, and you haven't done it since May, like nine months ago. And that's really just because I've been exhausted. There's been this huge gap in you know production of stuff. And I've not really started producing since I decided to end the forum back and um, made the decision to end it back in November and it actually closed in December. And if you look at what I've produced since then, uh, three videos in November, nine in December, seven in January, with well, a six so far in February, and this is only the 13th. And I got four five more lined up for production and I'm generally feeling a lot better and a lot more focused and actually starting to enjoy the process of creating content again. Um, just the, you know, the, enjoying the planning of it, um, somewhat enjoying the shooting of it, definitely enjoying the editing of the written stuff. And I'm really happy with um, basically what I'm now doing for the thumbnails. I've kind of hit on a, a format that's going to be easy to be re repeatable. Um, I can kind of color code it a little bit depending what the types of videos are so it will make sense on a playlist and really starting to enjoy it a bit more. I particularly enjoyed in the last month the two videos that I did that were basically book review thoughty things. I'm actually starting to enjoy, as strange as it may seem, I'm starting to enjoy books again. So, and I kind of have this balance of I need to be able to create some free content uh, need to do it basically fairly frequently. Um, something once a week just does not cut it anymore with the way the internet is. You really need to be producing three or four things a week. Um, if you look at like daily video, you know, bl bloggers, they the the golden standard is basically doing it every day. So there needs to be this creation of content, but it also needs to be sustainable and not kill you as you produce it all, plus they have to create paid content. So I kind of feel like I've hit into a little bit of a rhythm of producing the stuff that I want to make, and that's good. So in terms of three things I'm going to focus on, there's still a whole bunch of updating that I really got to get to. Um, the old Merry Man Sex Life blog and was hit with some sort of server bug when they transferred it from one server to the other. Uh, my host has not been able to help me terribly much with that, so I've basically got to go back and rebuild the whole template and make sure all that works. Then I want to update some of my forms that I'm using. I want to put out a proper newsletter. So there's a whole bunch of updating tasks that I want to focus on this week. The other thing I have to begin is I really do have to write the nice card, mean card book. Um, I already have... 27, 28,000 words of that in transcript form. Um, and that's, it's a couple of weeks work to basically edit that into something that is decent, but it is certainly an achievable task. I will not get it all done this week by any means, but I can certainly get that started. The third thing that I'm really going to focus on this week is I've I've started enjoying getting back into social media. I'm actually enjoying a little bit more, but it is also a black hole of sorts of, and I don't care which side of the issue you stand on in terms of whether you like Donald Trump or you don't like Donald Trump, but it's just never ending drama and chaos and battling, and it is, I, I don't have the energy for it. And I'm also finding I don't really have the energy to play video games. I'm, I'm tired I mean, I like them. I want to have more fun than I do with them, but I'm getting awfully tired of running quests and doing stuff and you know, spending hours and hours to get you know, incremental gains on different characters or whatever. And the thing that I really woke up with this morning was I actually have a whole fiction um, series that I had started work on all the way back in 2000 and 2001. I have some world building stuff that I have there. And at that time I realized, you know, it was never going to ever reach anything 
where I could be fully proud of it because my writing ability was just nowhere near where it needed to be. I could conceptualize, I could conceptualize the story, but I don't think I'd actually do the story justice because the writing would be crappy. Since then, I mean, we're talking now about you know 15, 16 years ago. Uh, my writing ability has come an awfully long way, so. I'm pretty much thinking that the fiction stuff on the side, it's going to be something I'm going to focus on as a hobby. It is going to be something I can do, you know, in my leftover time where I don't want to be thinking about, you know, shooting videos and relationships and, you know, being caught into that. It's a way to get my mind off things. It is a way to get my mind on stuff that is engaging and fun. Um, and basically just start picking my way through all my old um, summaries of what the plot was and what I was going to think about and how it was going to be done and do it for fun, to actually just do some writing for fun. So those are my three things. Got a whole bunch of updating stuff I got to get into. I really do have to start on the nice card, mean card book and start editing all that transcripts into something decent. And you know, stop the dopamine search on various social media, on gaming, and go back to some of the fiction stuff and just have fun. So, those are my three monkeys for the week. I'm curious what your three monkeys for the week are. You can, you know, leave a list in the comments below, wherever you are. And I'm, I'm curious to see what they are. So, until next time, I will catch you later. Catch you later.